News this afternoon and it involves a gift card scam. Yeah, listen to this. A Bloomfield man is accused of stealing thousands of dollars in gift card balances from Wooden Tap restaurants. The issue created a lot of confusion and frustration with customers wondering where all their money went. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is joining us live now with the latest. Aya. Hi, Aaron and Mark. Yeah, Newington police arrested 34-year-old Calvin Ortique in connection with this scam. He's accused of redeeming more than $25,000 from those gift cards. And Ortique went before a judge today at New Britain Superior Court. He faces a number of charges, including computer crimes and also identity theft. Now, Calvin Ortique is accused of hacking into the system that managed loyalty and gift card numbers, then redeeming the values. He is from Bloomfield and works for the Connecticut Department of Transportation. Now, according to the Hartford Restaurant Group, which owns and operates 10 wooden tap locations in the state, this started back in May of 2020 and went on up until the beginning of this year. It was around three years ago, restaurant staff started getting complaints about gift card balances disappearing, and then that's when the investigation got underway. Gift card balances ranged from $30 to $700. With the help of Newington Police, it was determined most of the gift cards stolen were purchased during the 2020 holiday season. Now, we're told it was gift cards and dollar amounts targeted not personal information at Wooden Tap has taken several measures to step up security. Continually uh, increased our securities. We've isolated it. We know we, we, we feel very strong. We know where the, the challenges came from. And Newington police say there were other co-conspirators and more arrests could be coming in connection with this case. Now, Wooden Tap is urging anyone who purchased a gift card during that time frame to reach out to them so that they could get redeemed. We're going to have much more on this coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 p.m. For, for now, reporting live in Newington, Aegalel, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, Aya, thank you.